Hey beautiful simmers, hello hello, welcome back to my channel, thanks so much for coming back. So I am here with you all um, today sharing with you a library speed build. So I need to give you some, some history and this build is about to look a little bit different in a moment so I'll use this time to explain. I've been playing out of San Alto, you guys know if you followed my Kukwa in the City series, I've been playing out of San Alto which is a city, a uh, custom city that I built for a while now and I'm just kind of feeling like I want to play in a small town and I want to kind of have like a rotational gameplay um, and yeah kind of small town locally owned businesses you know I want to play through like university students that live in the town um, elementary school primary daycare everything like I really want to play like a, um, a town like I want that town feel that small town feel so I decided to start a new city a new town a new neighborhood um, and I'll share more about it but this is going to be the library this is called Central Library and it's right across the street from the town hall um, and I have plans to also make a coffee shop a casino because this town does have some lore that has to do with casinos and um, wealthy families and things like that but I'll uncover as we go along but my vision for this library is that it will have a community garden it will have um, of course a children's room for kids to come in and do story time and like read after school or read with their parents or whatever it'll have a study space with laptops and computers just for general use you know you come to the library you can uh, work on your skills you can you know write books whatever you want to do and so of course I'm going to be using Monique's hacked computers on this lot um, and then upstairs my vision is that this library will also have a bit of a lecture hall and my thinking is that um, when I play out my uni um, uh, households um, the students can come into the library and go upstairs for special lectures and maybe the doctor in the neighborhood will hold a special lecture um, and they can gain you know logic skill points of listening to the lecture or whatever the case uh, maybe it's not uh, limited to university students maybe there will be you know um, other types of presentations that people all around town can host host and hold at the library so central library is uh, what we're working on today my vision also is that central library would be um along with all the other lots that i make would be a bit smaller i think again i love to build i love building lots i never used to in the past but i feel like now i'm like in my building era period <laughs> but um when it comes to building i feel like it's super intimidating when you have a really big lot especially if you're really into clutter like me so you can see right now i literally just chopped the lot in half and i decided that the right side of the lot instead of it just being um you know part of the building um it's going to be an open space to have a community garden and i think this is so nice because libraries are supposed to like encompass like all things community you feel me so people can come here and they're going to plant stuff and it'll be like a beautiful garden and if we plant um uh, produce then it can be harvested and distributed to families maybe people in need maybe low-income families can be a part of this program you know with sims 2 it's so versatile it's so creative and flexible you can do whatever you want so i'm thinking there's some new plant mods um and gardening mods that have come out and so i'll definitely do a review on those and i'll probably incorporate those in the type of community garden i built here so this is just me kind of building out the outside the landscape of the space i love plants mix and matching plants trees bushes um, if you use bull props snap objects off you can really get some flexibility with the type of plants you place um, i love plants like greenery like look at the look at all the cc i have greenery is <laughs> very important to me um so my vision with this new town is that the lots would be much smaller um, and multi-use, I guess. Another pro tip, when you're putting lights into a lot, you can just turn the lights off in buy mode. And then when you place the lights, it'll actually show what the illumination will look like, which is so helpful because sometimes you don't know, like, is it too much light? Sometimes you place so many lights down and then you get in game and it's too bright. So yeah, now I think we're going to start working on the inside. And again, the layout, very simple. We're going to have, of course, a little play area for the kids little story time area for the kids and I think that's really nice because libraries are free in this town some uh, families will be able to afford those extra piano lessons for their kids or those extra ballet lessons for the kids um, where they can gain skills but some families will not be able to afford that because you know they're they're 
household funds are a little bit restrained at the moment and so I think the library is perfect to have like a free thing where sims can come parents children whatever can come and read and yeah have some some playtime I am going to be using a mod and it's going to be um, a skill mod this mod is going to reduce how fast sims can learn skills it will reduce it heavily so normally you could just tell your sim like go watch the cooking channel and they like then they just gain a skill point so fast uh yeah we're, we're not doing that <laughs> we're gonna play on hard mode so it's gonna take a lot more hours to um to build up skills actually fun fact in sims 2 in the fall time you can um gain skills faster because fall apparently is like the month or the season where you where you gain skills faster so i just wanted to share that with you i thought that was really cool um and i think there is another season where like relationship building goes by faster so like simsu is so detailed and like i'm still learning things and i've played this game for a while um so we love we love sims 2 on this side i did try to get into sims 4 um but it's just not the same <laughs> <laughs> it's just not the same although I do wish that my sims could uh, have different body types that's something I'm really jealous of in the sims 4 along with the search function in the buy and build mode those are like two things I'm really jealous of uh, but besides that sims 2 just has a certain charm it's so wholesome and like funny and the sims has so much personality um I don't know I just I can't depart <laughs> I just can't right now so yes, um, this new town that I'm building, I'm going to reveal the name and the vibe of it really soon, but for now you'll get some builds and see kind of what I'm up to. But the, the theme of this town when it comes to community lots and homes is that everything's a little bit smaller. So they're, they're not going to be these like mega gigantic lots um you know that are super intimidating to build and to clutter up but instead everything's going to be smaller and everything's going to be multi-use um th there will be like a downtown area where the shops are very close together and i'd like for things to be locally owned so i'd, I'd like for the sims i play to actually run um to run their shops run their clothing stores run their bakeries run their restaurants uh, i have some ideas for like a pizza restaurant as well with some of the um you know how in sims 4 they came out with the new stuff pack i think called hustle in the kitchen i don't know something like that and it came with <laughs> sorry i'm not like super well versed but sims 4 does have a new um pack and you can like make pizza and, and waffle makers and all the things hustle stuff pack hustle and bustle hustle in the kitchen something like this um, but anyway it comes with a pizza oven and so I of course have the conversion and that's by um, who's it by TV Vicky Sims I think I can leave links down below when we get to that lot I'll share everything but yeah you can use a pizza maker to um, make some pizzas and I thought that's so fun and so maybe I'll have some of my sims who have a culinary background um, open up a uh, pizza store but for now this is the library so as you can see when you walk in i kind of put that little like reception area with the bars and the design on the wall i thought that was really nice um and there's like a wi-fi sign out front and then this is like the study area it doesn't need to be huge because realistically how many of your sims are even on the lot all at once right like not that many so you don't need to like have this huge auditorium because it's going to be empty anyway and then it's just gonna lag out your game so like what's the point i did decide to change up the colors of the chairs because in my library i know that we have like you know different kind of assorted colors of chairs and i thought that was cool and then i sporadically placed some monique laptops and these monique laptops allow your sims to um do their homework on the computer they can um gain skills they can study badges they can do literally everything and so you need those if you're going to run a, a library because you don't want your sim to be limited limited to anything if your sim wants to come and study cosmetology they can do that with these computers or if they want to study logic they don't need the chessboard they can do it with these computers um or if they just want to chat online and play some games and have some fun <laughs> <laughs> they can do that on the computers as well so i love it um and so i, I put these uh shelves up uh, the, against the wall and i really like how they turned out so i decided to just kind of sporadically clutter them um i didn't want to do too much because i would be sitting there for hours filling the entire thing with books and that's annoying so yeah i just kind of cluttered it sporadically and and i liked how that turned out and at this point i was saving a lot because i wasn't sure if anything was gonna crash although i don't really have much crashing in my game um especially when i'm building but yeah 
I just wanted to be on the safe side. So um, that the bookshelves here, they're also Sims 4 to 2 conversions, and I really like how they turned out with the color scheme. These bookshelves have so many recolors, and I appreciated that because it's so versatile, so flexible. We love to see it. Um, this little room, this tiny room here that I'm working on is a washroom, and I threw that in last minute. I did because I completely forgot about having a washroom. Normally, I would plan to wash them ahead of time, and I would have a big washroom with stalls and everything, but I decided we're going to have a quaint little washroom, and everyone can just take turns. So. <laughs> I did for a moment try to see if um, a stall could fit in here, but it, it's just too tight, so we just have a traditional washroom. And then the room on the right, upper right, that you can kind of see uh, with the yellow carpet, that is going to be the children's playroom. So yeah, building is something I really enjoy when I'm in the mood. Uh, you can't force yourself, you know what I mean? You just kind of have to like build when you feel like it. Um, and when you're in the mood, you'll get it done. And when you're not, it'll feel so jarring and so annoying. <laughs> and everything will start to aggravate you. So I say, don't force yourself to build. Build when you feel like it. Um, you can see I am uh, looking for clutter, for like realism, you know, toilet paper, paper towel, all those type of things, just to make the washroom feel a little bit lively. Oh, this is a drinking fountain. It is functional, so your Sims can go to that fountain and um, yeah, they can drink water and I think their hygiene goes up and their hunger, something like this. Uh, so I thought that was cool because I'm not having vending machines on the lot. I'm trying to also be specific about where I place vending machines. I used to put them on literally every single lot, um, but one, the Sims are so messy. Two, I don't like when they like just eat everywhere like like I don't even think you're allowed to eat in the library you know um, and then also I want my sims to have a reason to buy snacks from the grocery store and keep them in their inventory slash purse <laughs> and I want my sims to have reasons to go out for lunch you know go out to a diner or like a cafe so after you spend hours in the um, library you can just head out to get something to eat rather than having the vending machine like super convenient so this is like the cutest part of the build. This is the children's corner. Um, it's cute and quaint. There's beanbag chairs, there's little bookshelves, and they're like shorter so that the kids can actually reach, which I think is so cute. Uh, and I did put some clutter, just like books all around. Um, and there's like a reading circle with like pillow cushions, and I thought these were so cute. Um, and so your kids, they don't even need to read in the room. They could literally just sit and talk and like meet one another. And you could also have an adult read to, um, you know your sim children if you even want to assign maybe a librarian who owns the lot who owns a library in your game i think that's kind of fun and the librarian could do story time like every wednesday or whatever so when you play that household on wednesdays you send her to the library you summon in the kids that um you know would be interested and then you go from there and finally, I am doing the upstairs, and like I told you, my vision here is to have like a lecture hall. So I'm using the Opportunity Pack Podium, and I will use the Opportunity Pack um, books. There's a lot of different books. There's cooking, there's logic, there's charisma, so many different books. So, so long as your sim has like, I think maybe three or four um, skill points in that respective skill, they can do a lecture, and Sims will just automatically start to kind of come onto the lot, come upstairs, sit down, and listen to the lecture. Um, there's also a school opportunity pack, and so if you uh, cause your Sim to listen to that kind of lecture, their grade points will actually go up, so I love that, so I'm, I'm gonna do that. Maybe even the high school students, right, on a little field trip or something, they could come to the library and maybe hear from a doctor or hear from a nurse or hear from a, like a top chef in the town who can like speak to the cooking skills and as they listen they can gain cooking skills cooking skills i think that's just super dope i love the realism and i also love that they can build relationships i really want to play like a very um immersive town like i want some of my teen students who attend these type of um, events and lectures to build those relationships with the chefs and with the pharmacies pharmacists and the doctors in town um maybe even do like a summer internship like i really want it to feel immersive and that's why i love sims too because it's so flexible it's literally all up to you um those chairs you saw me using upstairs are from around the sims 2 and they are um school chairs and i love them they look so realistic when i was in university our our chairs looked like that like that little black pad there with the um ability to like press your notepad on and then out here is the community garden that's the kids room and that's everything i hope you all enjoyed and see you soon bye